that was kind of a bit of a surprise. <laughs> uh, I just went in for observation and ended up staying for a week and then finally had Alexander and she stayed in an ICU for another 17 days after that. I know one of the things that really struck me when we were in there, like she would get a new hat every day or she'd get a new whatever and, and it was all donated and then you look a little bit deeper, you know, the money for the equipment and all those sort of things had all been donated. Mommy! Hair dryer. Yeah, <laughs> good girl. I think they told us a lot about the isolates and how important they were when we were there. It was just wonderful to be able to see your baby and still touch your baby um, and be close by. Often you don't realize after that kids were premature and yeah, you could you could never tell. She's meeting all our milestones as she's supposed to and doing a wonderful job of growing. We call this an isolette. Um, you might remember everybody used to call them incubators before, but we call them isolettes now. The clear plastic gives us the best way to monitor them and see what they're doing. Um, if they were all wrapped up in blankets, then we can't see their color, we can't see their breathing, we can't see if they're having any difficulty of any kind without unwrapping all the blankets. So by being in the isolette, we can adjust the, the temperature that they need to keep themselves at their right temperature without using up energy. Potentially, if every baby in our room needed one, of course we need to have enough for every baby.